Bob, handymanteacher.com. Today we want to talk about the heat and the strong expenses that we have with air conditioning expense and what we can do about it as an inexpensive way of handling it. We've already started with this client with some windows, but I want to show you these windows on the left that aren't treated. If you look at here, it looks very clear, very sunny, and the heat would just come through those even though they're double pane windows. Now I'd like you to take a look at these windows behind me here that overlook this lake, and you'll notice they look kind of gray looking. <clears throat> well, what we've done with those windows is put a sunscreen screen up. Now the client at first looked at buying sunscreen roll down shades and the price of them was very prohibitive and my screen manufacturer came up with the idea of taking sunscreen material which is this and making it into a full screen. This was probably a cost of about one third of what it would be if we went and it got rolled down sunscreens. How does this work? It works exactly like a regular sunscreen. In fact, it's the same material. And in this instance, we bought the charcoal gray instead of buying a white because it looks better from the outside of the property. But what this is, is a screen that lets air through. The air can go through it. It would be like a regular window screen, but the difference is the Screens that come down are five together, a normal gap, five together, a normal gap, and the up and down is, a, is the standard screen opening. This gives us the, the protection that we need from the sun and the heat. And to install these, uh, we'll go outside in a moment and show you how to do that, but by installing these, all I'm going to do is put a screw with two screws at the top and two screws at the bottom right into the uh, vinyl that surrounds the window. I've made these out of a size that they fit completely over the window, both top and bottom. Also, since the framing only comes, this heavyweight framing that they make only comes in the, in the aluminum finish, rather than trying to paint these, I took white tape, plastic tape, and covered this side so that when we go outside we don't see the aluminum border but we'll see the white border. This tape is waterproof and it gives us the appearance of being vinyl clad. So from now we'll go outside. We've got them for the client for the rest of the house. This side of the house that we just showed you originally here gets very, very sunny during the day. And the back side of the house gets very, very sunny in the afternoon when it gets super hot. So we've gotten these screens for the rest of the house and we'll put them up by showing you just one. No need to show you how we put them all up, but we'll show you the end effect when we're finished with it from the outside. Now we're ready for the install of the screens. And what we're gonna do is use our drill. And I have these self-tapping white screws that are that are they're steel screws but they're coated they're used for screening quite a bit and with one inch we'll be able to go through the screen itself and into the vinyl around the outside edge now we've cut these to fit very perfectly in there so on these ones that are in this area where the ladder doesn't stand too straight, I want to do it this way. First thing I'm going to do, let's just start with this middle one, is hold it up in place. And as you see, it covers the complete opening so that we have sunscreen over the whole window. Now what I'm going to do is attach it with the screws, two about here and two about three quarters of the way up. This way, It'll hold it in place and it will give us the effect that we need. So, when you don't have the third hand, you hold it here, you get it up, you get it level, 
You move your hand to the middle. Take your screw. Now we have this little edge right here. So I'm going to take this screw, and since it's self-tapping, it will go through the aluminum and into the vinyl on the outside of the window. Changing hands. We'll check our alignment on this side. And this just is an approximate eyeball measurement. We go through our aluminum and in to the vinyl of the window. Next we will move our ladder over. I just want to show you something safety wise. With the ground this way, if I set up the ladder this way, what's going to happen to the ladder? You see this? It's very unstable. So what we have to do, we can either dig holes or put the ladder so it's stable. And putting it this way, we have a nice stable ladder. And when we climb, we don't have to worry about it falling down. And I'll just repeat the process up here of putting the screws in place. Holding it up against there, making sure it's aligned, taking the screw through there into the vinyl. Checking our alignment. Let's go back inside so I can show you the difference of how it looks with the screen up. Now, as you can see, we've done the middle window. We were just outside doing that. Look at the difference of the intensity of the light coming in from the middle window to the two outside ones that are still clear and no screen put up there. So as you can see, or you're going to have to take my word for it actually, this will help block the sun and help keep some of the heat out of this house. Now, a good question is where do you get these? <clears throat> well, these don't come from Home Depot or Lowe's. These came from an idea that came from my screen manufacturer, my local screen manufacturer. And what I suggest you do is go to a local outlet that sells screens or screening material and tell them on handymanteacher.com you saw screens made from sun, sunscreen protection and see if they can do it for you. Uh, that way, uh, for example, this screen cost $40 for that one particular size. If you would get a roll down screen that you would mount inside, you would probably be, I'm guessing, about three times that amount for each of the screens. So I have three screen windows done for the price of one with a roll down screen inside. The drawback is if it's winter time and it's cool and you don't want that extra sun protection on there, you have to take these down manually. Where with a sunscreen roll shade, you would just lift it up. So again, it's, it's something that you need to decide which is the best for your situation. So I'm going to go ahead and install the rest of these screens now, and then I'm going to have you take a look at what the house looks like with screens all the way around. All right, as you can see from the side of the house here, we've got the shutters up, and we've got the sunscreens up, and we've got the oleander plant. This client is now fairly well protected. Privacy is going to happen here fairly soon because of the oleander. The shutters make the side of the house look nicer, and the sunscreens are going to help with our cost of the cooling. This is Hub from HandymanTeacher.com. We have another job and it's completed for us. Thanks for watching. See you later.